We've tested a lot of lasers on this channel, but today we've got a laser that we've never tested before, and it's one that the subscribers have been asking me to test. Mm -hmm. They've seen a lot of YouTubers giving this a positive sort of review, but they know on my channel we're impartial, <laughs> and unless it's good, we don't say it's good, do we? No. So we're testing the Milesit PF260 Tor. In fairness, it looks a fantastic laser. From what I've seen so far, I've not unboxed it, yep. but I've looked at the features on the box, and it's got some features that I've never seen on a laser. Interesting. So I'm, I'm interested to test this one tonight and obviously give you an honest, uh, you know, impartial opinion on whether I'd buy it and whether it's better value than some of the lasers we've already tested because we must have like 20, 20 lasers we've tested now in, in, oh, in our playlist of budget laser testing. Um, and is this going to be at the top of the pile? Let's see. Let's get <laughs> teed off. So we've got Emily Moore in the distance there. What do you want to try and pick we'll that up? Want to try and zap that? <laughs> That'll be about ten thousand yards away. <laughs> right. So we're playing the last three holes at Huddersfield Golf Club. We're going to be playing off the red tees because we want to give you a little bit better image of the course. We've got some blind holes otherwise, so I think you'll see the course better off the reds. It's three hundred seventy-four yards to the green, but there's a layup I want to check with this laser, and I'm going to try and get them three trees because I think they'd be our start line. But we don't want to run up. We don't. We don't want to run out into them trees. So we need to make sure we're using a club that's going to, you know, pitch 50 yards short and uh, make sure we're in the fairway. To the trees, the free trees, it's 305. Oh, that's a monster. Monster. Oh, my Lord. That must be the longest drive you've ever hit on here. That's gone some miles, hasn't it? Yeah. Oh, that's a great Come shot. Come on, wind hit it. It didn't touch it, did it? It's still gone some distance, that, mate. Yeah, I thought we were going to bring it in, but it's just gone straight. Right, so first, let's unbox this. Now, what I love, first things first, is the fact that these cases are very heavy duty in terms of, like, the zip, the, the buckle here. It's a very heavy duty case well wrapped up and protected as well we'll have a look at that in a minute but let's see what we've got in the box it looks like we've got two batteries which are rechargeable which i love that the rechargeable and you've also got a usb charger to recharge the batteries so this were always my biggest worry you know when you see these lasers that have got a built-in battery yeah um i always worry that if the battery if it's internal and it doesn't come out and it, and it breaks you're buggered aren't you yeah, yeah. But with this you've got the best of all because you've actually got some replaceable rechargeable batteries which you can recharge and if for any instance that uh, you know if you, you have any issues you could just get some more so i think that's that's the first time i've ever seen that feature on a laser you've got obviously a cloth what I like about it as well is you've got, um, you know, basically it's, it's been passed, so inspected and checked to see if it's of, you know, quality. So you're not going to, you know, they're not basically, you can tell that that's been put together hand by hand, aren't you? Yeah, you definitely. Know, it's not just come off a conveyor belt and chucked into a box without checking. So uh, it's been I mean, stamped. branding goes a long way as well. The, the box, it well, let's have a look. Good, doesn't it? Let's have a look. I mean, you, can, you, you know a good laser when you sort of see how well the cover is, but... I tell you what, that is one of the nicest looking lasers I've seen. I know I can be a bit like sad sometimes when it comes to look of things, but you know, when you, you love your kit, you've got to like the look of it, haven't you? And I think that is fantastic. Obviously battery goes in here, locks in, looks like you've got your slope on and off, nice and simple. You know, if it's on, you can't cheat with that, can you? <laughs> it's on or off, uh, USB port, waterproof cover, and then these big chunky buttons on top but there's a feature that i really like let's go and have a look at this it says it's got yeah it's magnetic it's got a magnetic feature on it so i've just been adjusting this actually you know focusing it yeah and uh, when you get that focus right it is unreal I'm, you might have to refocus it for your eyes but i'll i'll let you test that in a minute um yeah did you hear that yeah did you hear it yeah big time that's good so to get that, you're probably picking this up, guys. To get that to work, you hold the button down and then you swipe across till you hit the pin. Because I think sometimes people say, oh, it's I've been caught with this sometimes, not understanding quite how it works. What you don't do is you don't just aim at the flag with, and press the button. Yeah. You actually like point it at the background 
hold it down and then when it touches the flag then it vibrates so you know you've not got the trees at the back so 96 yards and you're not going to get any more like confirmation than that are you no you you guys can even up it you know hear it at home so 96 yards i'm going to land it around about 80 i think come on come on hit it go on then go 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 oh. go go Miss my landing area, club short. That's, That's very, very easy to use. What very. about the cl clarity when you look through? Because we've tested a few lasers. For me, I think it like lifts everything, makes it brighter and almost like portrait. You can actually make out the detail of the crest on the flag. Yeah. Which is... That's insane. That's a level above, I think, anything we've tested. I'd agree. And we've tested some great lasers on this channel. You're going to get some stick for that shot, I think. Yeah? Well, after that drive, you've drove it like a plus five handicap and you've chipped it like a 35 handicap. It's the lie, mate, it's the lie. <laughs> <laughs> you might need laser again. After knifing it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, James has just gone through back. Put this uh, laser to a real test in it. We're going to see how far it actually measures to. Um, see if it does what it says on the tin. I mean, in golf, you're not really going to need it to measure more than sort of probably 350, are you? But oh, simmer test. down. This is uh, coming in quick. Oh, no. <laughs> is this still me? I can't believe it after that drive, James. It's a maddening game, isn't it? <laughs> Come on. Try again. You've got to still fight. You've got to try and chip this in. Chip it in. Unlucky. Still Whoa. two holes left. Two holes left. I need them. Is that a six? That's six. How do you want it, pal? I'll leave it in. Yep. That's come out a bit hot. No, not bad. Good for me. Solid four. Yeah. Off the reds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just want these guys to be able to see a bit more. Yeah, well, it's completely blind shot, isn't it? That yeah, one? you wouldn't have seen much uh, if we'd have played off men's. <sighs> Right, so we've got 151 to the flag. I'm just going to check the trees at the back. 165 to the trees at the back. So we need to be like, it's right at the back of the pin, isn't it? Yeah. In fact, I'll check, I'll check the front, actually. 125. So we've got 125 to 150 landing area. I think into that wind, if we hit a 150 club, we can just pull it up short at flag then. So I'm going to go... I'm going to go 8 iron. I, I like it. I know that no matter how, how well I hit this eight iron, it's just it can't go past that flag. And I know that it's going to go one one hundred and twenty-five yards, even if I don't particularly catch it that well. So I should be able to get that front portion at green. I just need to get the line though, don't I? So I'm going to commit to it in a good full shot here. So I'm probably going to stand up a bit in that wind. Hit it, wind. I've pured that. Oh, <laughs> beauty! <laughs> Thought about it. That's what a bit of distance control does. That's why you're having a distance measure. I think it helps you commit to your shot a lot more. Yeah. I think a lot of people would have looked at the like 144, but they're thinking like, shall I hit like a seven iron and you know stuff like that. Where I wanted to make sure I didn't go past the flag. So what are you going to hit? So you've got to hit a club that you'd hit 150. Oops. I'm going to go nine, I think. Nine? Yeah, nine. So it's getting the full beans. That's a good shot. Is it's it going to kick hold? off right, I think. Oh, oh. my word. <laughs> I think your distance were right. Just what a bounce. It. 
Yeah. Anywhere on green and two putts. Won't be too bad. Good shot. Fantastic. It's better. I'll tell you what, you might even make your par still. Game on. <laughs> right. If I get this birdie, I think it puts you to bed, doesn't it? Uh, no, so I've still got to put for three for half. Oh, yeah, I? true, true. Right. Oh, it's touched the hole. <laughs> it touched the edge. It didn't drop. So you've got this for a three for two then to win, ain't you? Take it to all squared out last. Are you leaving it in? Uh, yeah, can do. Needs to hit it, hit the flag really. Steady, 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 steady. Oh! Both done the same. It was a great touch. It just didn't set it off high enough. Four for three and down the last. Down the last, make it entertaining. Par five coming up now, isn't there? <laughs> if you've not played Uddersfield Golf Club, this is one that's worth waiting for. It's a cracker. Great hole to finish. I love a course with a good hole to finish. Yeah. Right, 469 yards. We might actually be able to get over hill from here. It's worth stopping around for if it's first time uh, tuning in, because over this hill is a spectacular second shot, isn't it? It is. If you get the speed slot, it's a great hole. Do you want to go? We'll play ready golf. Go on, then. Tactically put myself there to try and put the pressure on. We're going to test as well in a minute when we get to the top hill how far this laser actually measures. And bear in mind, we're just getting to that sort of twilight part of day. It's just getting a bit dull and overcast. We're going to give it a real test. That's a monster. You might be thinking that line's a little bit left, but James is not daft. <laughs> With that cut, that's where it wants to be. I think you'll be over at the top there. Oh, that is the absolute one. That is straight over the pole. And it's like a missile. You genuinely could have a pitching wedge in there. I know. So I know it's a bit overcast, James, but this view never gets boring, does it? No. We've got Fixby Hall, our clubhouse, where we have a lot of functions and weddings and facility, you know, some parties and stuff, don't we? And then that's the 18th. We've actually got over the hill tonight obviously off at ladies so we're not going to be able to hit one we'll usually be up here won't we or just over now yeah. i nearly forgot the whole point of coming to the top of this hill was to test how far this laser actually measures let me just see what it says on the box first it wasn't something i picked up on um if it said actually how far it claims to measure in fact i don't know if it actually tells you i'm sure it does in the manual it's not sort of clear on the box how far it actually measures Let's put this to the test anyway. So, you see where them people are there, coming down the ninth? I'm going to try and hit the trees behind behind them. Can you see them? So, yes. halfway down the ninth. Yeah. Right, they're 394 yards, them trees. So, we're going to go to the... Where could we... What about that tree near up the road? So, still ninth. Do you see what I mean? The little tree? Yes, can see that. Let's see what that one is. 494. Wow. How far is this laser going to go? Uh, Past the road? What about then? Yeah, so straight over the top of that tree, mm -hmm. uh, near the road on the knife, to the trees at the other side, it surely cannot hit them. That is miles away. And it's overcast as well. We're getting dark now. Bit of rain. Bit of rain. 620 yards. That's mad. Right, I can't pile believe on. it. The pylon? No way. No way. Let me see. No. It, imagine if it had... Pile, what is the pylon? It must be like 1,500 yards. Easily. Oh, 2,000 yards. Uh, the longest route, the longest thing we can get, right? You see the main entrance when you get to the top of the hill? Oh, you see the... Um, is it the six? The six? Is it the six? Yeah, six T. Yeah. The tree, the, 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 the trees right at the top of the road. Yeah. Yeah? There's like a telegraph pole, isn't there? Yeah, I can see that. 592 yards. Easily. I'm done. You're never going to need a longer distance than that, are you? No. In golf. That's incredible. And it's overcast as well. Mm-hmm. Wow. Pretty impressive. Thumbs up, Milesy. 
What have you got in, James? Second Rain shot. coming in. Oh, it's straight on it. What? Straight on yeah. the pin, that. Were it? Yeah. So, do it again. Did you hear the vibration, though? 195. 195. What are you hitting? Downhill, downwind. I'm going to go six to be safe. Six. Yeah, I think so. Ooh. Well, I didn't like that noise, though. No, I didn't. <laughs> I'd have just measured front at green as well, me. I'd have wanted to know depth at green. But this is all part of the learning, isn't it? It is. Because the pin's right at the back. We're downhill, we're downwind. So I, won't, I want to know the distance to pin, but I'm more concerned about the distance to middle to front me. I'm going to try that then, because that is one point, thing you've definitely pointed yeah, out in the video. Yeah, I'm sort of trying to hit the front of the green. Because if you got on the front portion of the green here, James, for two, we are short. It wouldn't be a disaster, but you go through the back, it's disaster. Well, it's a good position to miss it. You said to lay up before the green, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, it's a good position <laughs> to miss. Wow. 160 to 180, that's my 160 to 180. So I'm going to go for the one. It's downhill, downwind. I'm going to hit an eight iron. So I'm looking for that kind of 150, 160 landing area. And if I get a bit more out of it, then happy days. That started not so well. That's going to miss out right. I think we're rushing a bit because of weather. Oh, we? God, for a bounce. <laughs> What's it done? It's come back. Has it? Next to the bunker. <laughs> you need to put this on money, James. What you got? I've got 64 again, which I had on that other hole. <laughs> I come off with a six. <laughs> A, right. a nice 52 bumper, not bumper run, but... To be fair, on. we're in the same position, aren't we? Both miss green, and you've got a shot. Lovely strike this time. He's not messed up again. Oh, he has. Got no, long. Well, you put in. It's not a disaster. And you've got a shot on me. Try and land it sort of halfway. I'm not saying it's going to work, but I'm starting to just get a bit more relaxed and feel a bit more vision. Go. Didn't feel that very well, did I? <laughs> Go. So just before we finish this match off, I'm going to give you my conclusion on this laser, but also I'm that confident in this product. I want every subscriber, everybody watching this video has got a Millsy product to write a comment about your experience with Milesy, Millsy. I'm not 100% sure, but this brand, because for me, James, that is absolute quality. Yeah. And if you're somebody that's wanting to cut the cost on the price of a Bushnell or you know, I can't think of any other big sort of brands that could rival Bushmill, you know, that are so top end. Mm -hmm. um, then I just don't think you're going to, you know, you can go and get a budget laser for 50, 60 pounds. We, we know that because we've reviewed plenty. But if you want one that's ultimate performance and it's closer quality, if not, well, I'd say better quality without the stamp of a, you know, recognised High Street brand, that's got to be it. And I think the comments from you guys and, you know, from what we've seen from other YouTubers, I now know why this brand gets, you know, a lot of approvals and a lot of, you know, people saying it's so good. High praise indeed. And this laser in particular, I would say, you, you know, you just can't beat that. I don't know if that's their top laser, but I don't know how it can get any better than that, if I'm being honest with you. Wow. Because I think the simplicity of slope to non-slope, heavy duty buttons, you've got the magnet for the buggy, um, don't know where the metal's gone here, you know, it, it measures silly distances, um, measures in overcast rain, you know, what more can we say? <laughs> right, let's finish this match. We're grafting now, aren't we? Just a bit. Hit it, rain, hit it, rain. <laughs> I'll give you a right chance here. <laughs> the weather's got to him. 
I don't know if there's any water on lens here, guys, but this rain's really coming in bad now. I think if he puts this stiff, I might just get him. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, it's a butt off. <laughs> I'm staying under a tree, me. <laughs> This is not what you want to see, is it? Is this no. a five for four? This will be five for four. And I've had four. Yeah. This will win him the whole and half the match. Oh, I've got to come and put. Is that a six for six for five then? <laughs> yes. So I need this to, to win to half the hole and win the match. Wow. You've made me have to come out and put this. Some might say I did it on purpose. <laughs> Get in! <laughs> well played, mate. We've got the W. What a fantastic laser, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. We'll be back in a few days' time to give you some more independent reviews. Cheers.